Hey everyone, how you doing? If you are new here, I'm Nicole Concilio and welcome to the video, y'all. Girl, my voice is a little rough today. If you are new to my channel, I have a cyst on my vocal cord that I'll probably need surgery for after all this craziness is over. I also have been talking so much and like FaceTiming with people and on the phone with people and filming videos and that doesn't really help. So it is no secret if you follow me on Twitter and Instagram, you guys know I have been obsessing over Animal Crossing, okay? It's like one of my favorite things ever right now, especially during quarantine. Like this couldn't have come out at a better time. Thank you, video game gods. Thank you, Animal Crossing gods. New Horizons is the first version of Animal Crossing that I'm playing. I love it, I'm obsessed. I got this random crazy idea to do my makeup like some of the Animal Crossing villagers in Animal Crossing. Let me tell you something. There's a lot of cute bitches up in this thing and they be looking cute. Like, look at Monique. I see you with that beauty mark girl and those brows. We also have Naomi. Look at her slang. She's got like a red smoky eye going on. And today we are going to be doing, drum roll, Gloria the Duck. Isn't she so like, what the hell? I really love the way that she looks. Also, a lot of you guys have been wanting me to do more like vintage Twiggy style makeup with my haircut and I thought that this would literally be the perfect connection of the two. And if this does go well, I will make this a series. Meaning like if you guys do like this, if you watch it, you're bored, you like it, I definitely will do more Animal Crossing characters. Truthfully, I just wanna have fun. Things are so weird, I don't even know how to act. It feels weird sometimes even just like doing my makeup because that doesn't even really seem important right now, you know? I've been liking doing a bit more skincare and TikToks, bitch. I've been on TikTok like crazy. I love TikTok. I love the talk, okay? So yeah, without any further ado, let's do our makeup like Gloria from Animal Crossing. <laughs> This also felt really fitting because my grandma's name is Gloria and I was thinking of her today and like I love to talk to her. She passed away from lung cancer when I was young. I just have such a connection with her. Like I feel like she's my guardian angel. And this morning I was like, I call her Nan or Nona. Like it just really depends. And I was like, Nan, what should I film today? And then as I was looking up, the duck's name was Gloria. And I was like, okay, I hear you loud and clear, Nan. Gloria doesn't have any brows, but I do. So I'm gonna do them. <laughs> <laughs> We're gonna be going in with the Glossier Brow Flick and the Boy Brow. I use in shade both of these in shade brown. I've been watching a lot of Ozark lately. Riley and I are on season two. Oh my God, I love Jason Bateman. I love the show. It's so interesting and it keeps you on your toes. I love thrillers like that. Not like scary thrillers, but more like, oh crap, this could be a real life situation for someone type of thriller. I don't know. So I just go in and make hair like strokes all around the brows. But yeah, what have you guys been doing? Have you been playing Animal Crossing? Any other video games? Have you been simsing it up? I tried to get into the sims, but it was super, super hard for me and I wow I wound up playing on tutorial mode when I thought that I was playing the actual game and I was like, so that kind of put me in a sour mood about The Sims. <laughs> Look at how good this brow flick is. Like, hi, it is so good. It's the best brow product I've ever used, honestly. And then I go in with a little bit of this brow gel, boy brow, and it's tinted. I always wipe the excess off on top. It can get a little bit gloopy. So you wanna be careful of that. God, I love Glossier brow products. I can't believe I haven't tried them sooner, you know? So I'm gonna go ahead and do the other brow off camera and be right back. Okay, my brows are done. So let's get into our eyeshadow. And I think what I'm gonna be using today is this ColourPop rainbowy single shadows that I have from them. The blues here I feel like are perfect, especially this one. I feel like it's the perfect color for this look. Just because my eyelids, they're veiny and I haven't been getting a lot of sleep. My sleep schedule has sucked. So I'm gonna go in with the P. Louise 
This is from Mama Mama Mitchell. And I'm only gonna use a little bit just to like get a nice even base here because I do be having some crazy ass looking eyelids. Also, I've been having, I want to say it's almost like, it feels almost like an eczema or like a contact dermatitis going on right above here. So I don't really know what the tea is about that other than it's annoying and itchy. So let's add makeup to it. Actually, I retract that. It's not really that itchy. It's just textured. It bothers me because I know it's there. You might not be able to see it, but I can feel it, bitch. For a base because it's important when you're using pastel colors to have a base. I am absolutely obsessed with P. Louise. I think they have some of the greatest bases ever, 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 ever. You guys know I literally use their natural like base. I just applied it all the time, all the time. So let's pull up Gloria's pick again. She's got this kind of like blue going on with a little bit of a wing. She's fashionable. So let's apply this. I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. This is the P. Louise base in the color Touch of Frost. So I have about that much on the back of my hand. And I'm gonna go ahead and apply it with a flat brush. This is the ColourPop E3 brush. And I'm just saturating both sides of the brush. And I'm gonna go ahead. I always start in the middle of my eyes because if there's ever too much product, it's easier to blend it out once it's in the middle. If you go in right away to the crease, you can get a little bit messy there. So I always like to start in the middle of my eyelid and move it gradually to the crease. So she doesn't look like she has much going on here just a nice big lid color and I'm just trying to fill this in as evenly as I can and every time I dunk back in I always make sure to saturate both sides of the brush and I'm just rounding it out at the end there okay so I'm pretty happy with the way this looks I'm gonna go ahead now and use my finger and apply this color it's called moonlight and it's matte it's a little bit more on the blue side, like if I hold it up to what we currently got going on, it's a bit more like sky blue, whereas what's on my lid is a little bit more greenish, like turquoisey. So you're gonna see it get a little bit dark. I'm gonna apply it with a fluffy brush. So I'm just gonna go in and actually, I'm gonna make sure there's no creasing because I do have wrinkly eyelids. Make sure there's no creasing. Okay, now we go in and tap. Again, like having this nice base is really good for shadows. Really good, especially for light pastel-y colors. I also was thinking, okay, again, like I've been enjoying Animal Crossing so much. I might want to do an island tour on my vlog channel. I don't know if that's really something you guys care about on my main channel. Again, like you can let me know. And I'm also just taking what's kind of left on my brush and softening the edges just a little bit. Not anything too crazy. This actually looks really pretty. All right, to save some time, I'm gonna go ahead and do the other eye off camera and be back for our winged liner. Okay, so this looks cute. As you guys can tell, I feathered it out just a little bit so that it didn't look too insanely harsh, you know? I feel like I could probably even do a little bit more. It's like hard for me to leave things harsh looking. I'm like, eh! I gotta feather it just a little bit. So Gloria's got some winged liner. It's black, it's dark, it fans up. She's got some dark black winged liner. It's really cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. The liner I'm gonna be using is from House Labs in the shade Punked. One of my favorite liners out there. The best felt tip I've used in a very long time. And I'm gonna just wing her out. Just like so, and bring it in. I never breathe when I do my winged liner. And I don't breathe when I do other people's winged liner. Like, if I'm doing my sister's, I never breathe. All right, so that looks good. Let's go ahead and do the other eye. Okay, it looks great. I'm so proud of myself. I did it even nice. Didn't get too thick. Very proud of myself right now. And I'm just cleaning up any blue that's kind of like sparsely left around. So I'm gonna go grab some lashes. So the lashes I got are the Lily Lashes in the Style Miami. They are so good. I'm just cleaning them a little bit because I got some old yellow eyeshadow on them. And I'm like, all right, so the lash glue I use is from Velour, and I'm almost running out. I have to go buy more. I do have a discount code with Lily Lashes. It's N-I-C-O-L at the checkout if you're interested. I do make a little bit of a commission, so thank you in advance for using my code because I'm impatient. 
I'm gonna go ahead and pop these suckers on. These are such a great lash, you guys. Love them, they're very feathery. They kind of give you that elongated cat eye look at the end, you know? And there you have it. Lashes popped on. For primer, I'm gonna go in with the Ula Henriksen Banana Bright. Just apply it all over. And then I kind of let it dry before I apply my foundation. And for foundation today, we're gonna be going in with the Forever Skin Glow from Dior. I'm gonna apply it with my fingers and blend her out with the Beauty Blender. I have been cooking so much. I'm craving fast food because I've been cooking so much. I'm like, oh my god Like I was having fun at first, but now I'm like <sighs> You know anybody else I feel so bad for all the moms out there right now or even the dads that are in control of food Can you imagine having your kid be like what's for dinner? What's for dinner? What's for dinner? My mom has my dad, my sister at the house right now. My sister is staying with my parents currently. And I feel so bad for my mom because I can only imagine. Everybody's like, what's for dinner? What's for dinner? Even like me and Riley were like, oh, what's for dinner? I can't wait until we can go back out to restaurants. I took that shit for granted so much. If there was one thing Riley and I did, it was going out to eat. Like that was our thing. We loved going out to eat a lot and like locally we don't really go to like lots of big chains I'm a big like support local type of girl and I just miss going out My cheeks are always playing me. They always play me. They like absorb foundation so incredibly fast I'm like, okay, where does it go? Just straight into my bloodstream so I've been watching a lot of Animal Crossing YouTube videos. There's this one person I watch. I think his name is like Tag TV or something like that. He has the best Animal Crossing videos. Like they're seriously so good. And I really like his voice too. It's like very soothing, unlike mine right now. And I'm just gonna get my neck because I accidentally used my summer, my summer, my summer shade. This is my more summer shade. So I'm gonna you know, just blend it down. There we go. And for concealer, I'm gonna be going in with the ColourPop Pretty Fresh. This is in the shade Medium 85. I also have been like doing a lot of Zoom calls. Have you guys been Zooming with your family or friends? What have you been up to? What's like your favorite thing to do during quarantine? Mine has been definitely Zooming with family and friends and also playing Animal Crossing. God, this combination is flawless. I always try to switch up my products just to keep things like lively and interesting for y'all, but I always go back to this concealer, the Pretty Fresh from ColourPop. It is incredible. Great, I have an itchy nose. Guys, you'll never believe what's back at my house. The damn, well not in my house, but in my yard, the damn rats. Some idiot on my street thought it would be a really great idea to dump peanuts everywhere and the rats came back. So I'm like, great. We literally caught Mo eating something and I was like, what the hell is he eating? It was rat poop in his mouth. I like grabbed his mouth. I was like, <sighs> by the jaws of life and Riley picked him up and we like shook him. Thank God we got it out. But I was like, great. Also, what I'm gonna do, I'm probably gonna have to call the pest control guy again. You know, there's only so much they can guarantee when it's outside your house. Thank God we got everything patched up and knock on wood, there hasn't been any rat sightings in the house or the attic, but they are outside, let me tell you. And they're making themselves cozy in my yard. Like, no, please leave. I've been using this Summer Fridays lip mask a lot. It's their, actually, it's a lip butter balm. And I just apply it like directly from the tube because I'm the only person that uses this. I was gonna let Riley try it out, but he could suck it, honestly. Riley's a big chapstick guy. It's everything. All I've been wearing lately is just this because like you guys know I got my lips tattooed. So this is all I've been wearing lately. Oh, I love it. It's so good. All right, so let's set our face. We're gonna go in with the Cover FX Perfectin Powder. Why do I get Southern? Like, I don't understand. I need to get more of this powder. Thank God for online shopping. And I'm just gonna blend out any creasing that may have formed under my eyes and go right in with that powder. And I kind of just dust it all over. I always get the sides of my nose too because I be creasing. I be creasing. I be creasing. I always forget this foundation is so good too. Like the combination of Dior and the ColourPop concealer 
And what I do is just take a fluffy brush and dust off any powder that's still lingering. All right, Glore, what else you got going on? Her little twiggy underneath thingy majiggies. She doesn't have any blue eyeshadow underneath, which is kind of killing me. I might swipe whatever is left on this brush just to get a little bit of something, you know? Because that's going to drive me nuts. There we go. Just a little something. You can barely see it. I feel like the best way to do this is probably going to be with like a pencil and then set it with black eyeshadow. Right? I'm nervous. I'm like, bitch, you know what I'm Okay, so I sharpened my pencil, like very sharp. This is the NARS High Pigment Longwear Eyeliner in the shade Via Vento. <sighs> Please say a prayer for me. Say a little prayer for you forever. <laughs> okay, let's go. Okay, I think we're getting there. I'm so nervous, you guys. I'm like not breathing. I'm saying a prayer. I'm gonna go in with the Violet Voss Vibes palette. There's a black shadow here. I'm gonna go in with this very thin lip brush, saturate both sides, and just go over where that pencil is. Damn, I'm so nervous! Am I doing it right? Is this good? The faces I'm making right now, I'm like, that's how I have to do it to get my eyelids to be straight. Or my under eyelids. Well, uh, my under eye. <laughs> oh no, that one is too close together. We fixed it. Oh yeah, that looks cute. I did it. I did it! I'm gonna save y'all the pain and agony and do the other eye off camera. <laughs> okay, we did it. I feel so much better now that I have the mascara on. It's cute. All right, Glore, what else you got going on, girl? So she's got some pink lipstick on her beak. So we'll do some of that and we'll do some blush and contour as well. So I'm gonna go in and bronze. We're gonna be using the Fenty Beauty Private Island and going in and chiseling. Chisel these cheeks, honey. So for highlighter, milk makeup, are we surprised? No. This is the Flex Highlighter in the shade Iced and I'm gonna go on in. I love this highlighter. It's like the perfect shade too. Gonna go in with a little blush. I love these Bare Minerals Bounce and Blur blushes. They're so good. And they have like a little bit of cream to them. So they have like, they're not drying. I just love them. This is in the shade Coral Cloud. And I just like, you know. And since her nose, like her beak is a little bit red, I'm gonna get some on my nose like so. We're almost done here. I'm going to use the product called Freck to bring back my little beauty mark over here. There she blows. And for lips, I'm gonna go in with the ColourPop Sailor Moon Ultra Blotted Lip in the shade Bunhead. And I'm pretty much just gonna like do little sections like that, blot my lips together, and we're pretty much done. Let's set this with some setting spray. And I'll zoom you guys on out. We can get the final look. You guys, I really love the way this came out. It's so cute. It's really cute. And I love the little twiggy underneath parts. Glore, are you impressed? What do you think, girl? What do you guys think? I think we nailed it. I think we did a good job. I even have her short little curly hair. Her little flips, rather. This was so fun to do. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Leave me a comment down below if you want me to do more like these. There are so many poppin' Animal Crossing villagers. Like, I'm down to keep doing this. And it's fun, and it gets me to play around with makeup for you guys. So, yeah, let me know. And if you like what you see, please consider subscribing. I love you guys so much. Please stay safe and... I will see you next time. Bye.